Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm kind of really excited for this because all year I've been writing down books that I read or like um, DNF'd. So I have a whole list there too. And I haven't read as, as many as other people, like booktubers, obviously, because it's not like my job or anything. And with like school and stuff, I haven't really had a lot of time. And I was trying to read another book by the end of the year, but I know I won't. So I just kind of gave up on that, but I'm still going to read it. So I'm hoping to read it by the end of the year. Probably not. I'll just make it in it anyway, but okay. So the first book I read this year, actually, should I start with all the books that I DNF? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start with all the books that I DNF because there were, like, many different reasons why. Mostly because it wasn't really, like, age-appropriate or I just thought it was really boring or it wasn't my type of thing. So, um, I only have a few. Well, kind of a few, like, several. Um, so, it's Love and Luck. That's the first one. I... I think I just thought it was boring. I was only a couple pages in. And I usually give books chances. Like if I'm only like 20 pages in or something. But I just couldn't. Um, Next one. Strange the Dreamer. I know I wanted to continue this one so bad. But I felt like I was already too far in. And it was going nowhere. So I don't know. Um... I really didn't get that far into it, actually, but it, I don't know, it just felt like it was getting nowhere. Like, I don't know. Okay, third, Starry Eyes. I just, I don't know, I didn't like the plot, like, it wasn't, it mentioned a lot of things that I didn't believe in and stuff, so it was kind of, I don't know, I didn't, I felt like I shouldn't be reading it. Next one, I see London, I see friends. I don't know. It just again, it was dog. It was kind of just like not age appropriate. Next one, my life next door. I looked this up on plugged in, and it just mentioned stuff that I didn't want to like get into. So okay, and my last one is cinder by marissa meyer i don't i forget like all the other authors um for the other ones because i didn't write them down on the ones that i dnf but cinder i don't know it was just weird like honestly i wasn't that far in but honestly i don't like the thought of robots just kind of weirds me out like usually i like science fiction and stuff but i don't know that was kind of just dumb no offense but um, okay, so here are all the books that I actually read, and I give them ratings, and um, for some of them I have, like, little notes, so, first one, Listen to Your Heart by Cassie, Casey West, I don't really know, and I gave that a 7 out of 10, I don't, I feel like this was the one about the podcast, like, this girl made a podcast, and this boy was, like, calling in every week, and he liked a girl, and, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I don't know why I gave it a 7 out of 10. I think my original, I originally gave it a 6, but I think I, I ended up giving it a 7. I, I don't know why it was at the beginning of the year. Okay, next one, Love Life in the List by Casey West. I think the boy's name was Cooper, and the girl liked him, but he was kind of iffy at first and but i think he ended up liking her if that's a spoiler i don't think so but um probably honestly sorry um okay now i have like all the harry potter books so harry potter and the sorcerer's stone oh i gave love life in the list an eight by the way eight out of ten okay harry potter and the sorcerer's stone by jk rowling i gave that a ten out of ten i just 
I love the book so much. Um, Chamber of Secrets, I gave that a 10 out of 10 too. Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkaban, I gave that a 11 out of 10. Um, okay, now there's an in-between book. Like, not for Harry Potter, obviously, but, um, The Call of the Wild by Jack London. This was kind of an audiobook, but they had, like, the words on the screen, I guess, and I read this at school, and honestly, it was, it was a book we had to do for school, obviously, it's not gonna be interesting, so I gave it a 5 out of 10, and I didn't like how, like, so many of the dogs died, sorry, spoiler alert, um, I'm just gonna take off my pants. Because the glare was annoying the heck out of me. Okay, next one. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. I gave that a 10 out of 10. Order of the Phoenix. I gave that. Let's just say I don't even know what that is. But yeah, that out of 10. So you can see how much I like that one. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I gave it a 10 out of 10. Deathly Hollows, 10 out of 10. Okay, we're done with the Harry Potter now. Actually, no, we're not. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I gave that a 7 out of 10. Oh, because that was like the red. That was just like learning about them. It wasn't the screenplay for the movie. So I gave that a 7 out of 10. Mostly because I had to push myself to keep reading on it. Because honestly, it was kind of boring. But I read it in the. It was kind of interesting. Like learning about all the animals. I just said it was boring. I'm just looking back. Okay. Now we have the Fantastic Beast screenplay. I gave that an 8 out of 10. Why did I give that an 8 out of 10? I love Fantastic Beast. I don't. I don't know. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling, Jack Thorne, and John Tiffany. I gave that a 5 out of 10. Because I have some notes down here. Scorpius was the best character. You cannot change my mind. He he should have been in Ravenclaw too. Or like what? Um, I thought that okay. Spoiler. I thought that scene with the trolley witch and how she like chased them up to the top of the roof or something that was weird. Like it's not something J.K. Rowling would want right. It was just. I don't know. I thought this. I don't know. Like the original characters, like Harry and Ron and Hermione, I feel like they said some things that they would never say, like in the original things. I don't know. I try to imagine the characters, like, actually saying that, like, in a movie, and I just can't with that. And, Delph- and Delphine? Delphine? Delphi? Oh, Delphi. Delphi was weird as frick. Like, no. The what? No. Voldemort and Bellatrix? No. That was just dumb. Like, honestly, I don't consider that canon. Like, that did not happen. Um, okay. Now we're on to non-Harry Potter stuff. Um, I have The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. I love this book so much. And I can relate to Owen. I can relate to Owen. Hold on. As I was saying, I feel like I can also relate to some of the characters of, like, people I know in real life. So, like, I won't say their names, but, um, spoiler, kind of, there's this girl named Paisley, and I feel like I can relate to her a little bit. And, um, I can relate to some of my other friends to like lucy and liam and owen and stuff so yeah that i gave that an 8 out of 10 but honestly i would i think i would give it like a 9 or 10 now because i love that book like it was adorable no i think i i think i gave it an 8 because it was kind of rushed at the end that's that's a common thing with books like they're always rushed at the end like there's no time for like explanation it's just like blah 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 kiss we're done so yeah i don't know i don't like that i like when there's an epilogue when there's whatever i don't like rushed endings okay next one i shouldn't have read this this book was a mess um it was a little do we know by tamara ireland snow i 
honestly, there are so many things wrong with this. It was mm -mm. just. I gave that a two because I'm Christian and the girl like. She was questioning her faith and stuff, and she, and the ending was dumb. Like, I don't think in the ending she like found herself. She didn't come back to Christ or anything. So it was like really unfinished which was kind of dumb and i thought the boy spoilers um i thought the boy that got um oh what i i don't even remember what happened to him did he get hit by a car i don't know whatever where he kind of like died um i thought he would come to christ because he was questioning the the girl the main girl i forget her name I don't know, like, the one, well, there were two main girls, but, like, the one that was Chris, Christian, I guess, because I don't think she comes back to Christ at the end of the book. I don't know, I didn't like it. Okay, next, The Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling, I gave that a 7. Well, I didn't, this is, like, in chronological order, like, in... According to how I read it, and I read Quidditch Through the Ages first. I gave that a 6. I like Tales of Beetle, Beetle the Bard better. I read that next, and because it was, like, all stories and stuff. But I only gave that a 7, too, so, yeah. Then I read the Crimes of Grindelwald screenplay. That's a 10 out of 10, because I love the Crimes of Grindelwald. I feel like it was better than the first one. And honestly... Okay, this whole thing is, like, filled with spoilers, but Queenie, I feel like, I feel like she's under the Imperious Curse. Like, it's either that, or, I don't know, I just feel like she's under the Imperious Curse. Like, I love her, she was my favorite character besides Newt. Like, and I shipped her in Newt in the first movie, but now I don't, I don't really ship Newt with anyone but myself. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't like Tina. To be honest, I mm, no. Okay, anyway. Okay, I read the selection by Kira Cass twice. I read the whole thing like twice. Actually, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Don't listen to me. I read the selection by Kira Qu Ugh, Kira Cass twice, and I gave that a ten out of ten. Maxon. Okay, Maxon versus Aspen. Maxon is the best, obviously. Aspen, I don't like him. He can go marry Lucy. Well, spoiler, he kind of did. Um, yeah, he can go hang out with Lucy, like, back off America. Like, Maxon, I love him so much, I swear. Like, he is my ultimate fictional boyfriend. Okay, next, I read, actually, before that, I read The Dark brown dog that was another one of those audiobooks that we had to do for school i'm gonna cry just thinking about it we had to it was like the audiobook for school but like the words were up there and it's by stephen crane and i gave it a one out of ten because it made me so sad and i only gave it a one because of the message it had, but, spoiler, the dog, the dad, like, it throws the dog out the window, <laughs> and it dies, and I was a mess that day, like, I was, like, me and another girl were, like, the only ones crying, like, really sobbing, it was so sad, like, I hate that, anyway, <laughs> anyway, Next, I read The Elite by Kira Cass, and I read that one twice, and the only reason why I read The Selection and The Elite twice were because I got, like, the copies. I read, the first time I read it, I read The Selection from the library, and then I got The Elite online. Like, I just read it off, like, this free online website thing. Um, okay, that's a 10 out of 10. This book stressed me out so much. Like, Aspen, you can back off. Like, I was so mad in America, too. Like, I just wanted Aspen to, like, 
go away, go do your job, I swear. Okay, then I read the one by Kira Cash. I don't have that in there, so I only read that once. And I gave that a 10 out of 10. This book was my life. Like, actually, it's the best. Okay, then I read The Air by Kira Cash. I gave that a 6 out of 10 because Elin is a spoiled brat. And she was using Kyle. She was literally using Kyle for her own wants. Just to make herself feel better. So, make her feel better about herself. And then, I don't know what this means. Oh, I think, I think I remember. I said worried about cooking. Like, I wrote that down in a note. I think it was when, like, all the, um, like, her and... Um, Iko and Henri, I call him Henry, but I guess it's Henri, I don't know, they were all cooking and she was worried about it because she had never cooked before because all of her freaking, like, maids and butlers do that, like, dude, your mom was, like, a freaking five before, so, like, don't even, like, don't act that way, I swear. She was so dramatic and ungrateful, too. Like, honestly, dude. I gave... Okay, then I read The Crown, and I, she improved a lot. But still, when I feel a certain way about a character, like, I I don't change that unless they do something, like, really bad. So, yeah. And, um, what's that one guy's name? It's, it's the son... Sorry, uh, spoilers the son of augusta in georgia i know it started with an m it was like mm, i don't know but i loved him like i loved him at first and after he did all that crap and was like trying to get the crown i still loved him like honestly he he sounded so cute like i don't know i like i said i don't change i don't change the way i think about a character like even if they do do something like that unless they like kill someone then yeah <laughs> um and then i read the siren by kira cash i give it a seven because i feel like oh what's the guy's name it starts with an a i'm so bad at remembering like stuff like that i don't know the main guy's name i feel like they didn't have enough time together um her and or him and Kaylin, Kate, Kaylin, I think it was Kaylin, um, yeah, and I, I always liked Ashley too, I think that was her name, it was Ashley or Ashlyn, I think it was Ashley, and then, yeah, I honestly don't remember, like, any of their names, so, I have too many books from, okay, um, next I read Girl Online on tour, I had read the first one, like, last year, and I loved it, um, it's by Zoe Sugg, if that's how you say her name, and I gave that an 8.5, like, honestly, it, it kind of stressed me out, too, because, um, I freaked, what's the main girl's name? Oh, it's Penny, it's Penny, yeah, she stressed me out, um, Girl Online Going Solo by Zoe Sugg, N Noah? was barely in it and i love him so much i gave that an 8.9 but all i remember was that he was barely in it like he was he had gone to take him some time to himself so yeah next i read royals slash prince charming by rachel hawkins and i feel like that was very unfinished too but i really liked the romance and stuff i gave that an 8.5 there was no wedding for um her older sister daisy's older sister l and the prince i forget his name and like Elle's dress like they were making such a big deal out of that and we don't even know what it looks like or anything and the um daisy and the other guy that she ends up with, they have no relationship development because they get together at the very end of the book. So it was annoying. Like, honestly, I I don't like unfinished books. I feel like that ending was really rushed, too. Anyway, next. 
Shug by Jenny Han. That was adorable. I I can relate to it so much. Like honestly, it was great. I gave that an eight if I didn't add it, if I didn't already say. And then I have the statistical probability of a love at first sight. I give that a ten out of ten. Because it was cute. The selection stories, The Prince, The Guard by Kira Cass, I give that an eight out of ten. Yeah, I, I don't really know what to say about it. It was good. Um, then I read On the Fence by Cassie West. And I was at 10 out of 10. Because I love Brayden. He was adorable. And honestly, I he was great. Then The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. I read this at the beginning of the school year. And honestly, just like um, Tom Sawyer, I had to push myself through to read it because he was boring but this was more interesting than tom sawyer then i have anna green gables by ellen montgomery i gave that a 10 out of 10 because i love anna with a 9 out of 10 and my favorite was chess like i love him or natalie she really developed like throughout the story okay the last two were pivot point by cassie west casey west i don't know how you say it um, I gave that an 8 out of 10. Like, honestly, okay, I love Duke. Like, I loved him. Like, at the beginning, I felt like he was using his, like, power, I won't say what it is, on me. Because he made me, like, love him so much. Like, honestly, like, he's, he was so cute, too. Like, blonde hair, blue eyes. Like, I obviously don't know exactly what he looks like because... I was just reading a description in his book, but honestly, they were saying he was really cute and stuff, so. And then, you know, he turned out to do that, and freaking Bobby, so. Yeah, I hate Bobby. Um, I always hated him. But Duke, I don't know how to feel about him. Like, I'm not, like, mad at him. Like, he's still, like, pretty cute. But, like. But I don't know. He shouldn't have done that. Okay. Last book is Split Second by Casey West. And I gave that a 9 out of 10. Because I I liked it more than Pivot Point. Mostly because the Trevor thing was kind of frustrating. Because I didn't like Trevor. Because I was obsessed with Duke. So, yeah. And I guess... Trevor is a pretty cool guy in this one. Like, we get to see more of him in, um, actually, no, we don't. Never mind. We get to, well, we get to, like, know him better in Pivot Point. But Split Second, he was just adorable. And, yeah. So, I gave it a 9 out of 10 if I didn't already say it. So, yeah, I don't know how many books I read in total. I know it was, like, 40-something. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 40, 45, 36, 37, 40, 45, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Well, I guess I didn't read 40. But, um, yeah. So, I want to read more next year. I was kind of like a book slum for like like since school started because i didn't have time i just didn't feel like reading or you know other reasons so thank you guys for watching i love you all jesus love you bye